Hello everyone. Today we will start parameter passing in Python functions. Before starting parameter passing in Python functions, let us discuss these five important terms that you should know before getting started with parameter passing. To discuss these terms, let us make one dummy function. As you can see, this is our function. In this function, the first line is called function declaration. Why? Because, because it is declaring the function. And this full function is called function definition. When you create this function, and run it in Python. The Python will create the object with the name do something in memory. To call this function, you need to write this line. So this line is called function call. Let us discuss now what is argument or parameters. As you can see in this function we are not passing anything in this these two braces if you want you can pass you can take any variable here and at the time of function call you can pass anything that will automatically pass to this function when you call this function. So at, at this moment, I am passing 10. So 10 will be sent to A and A will take value 10 and store it from this line of the function till this line. That means A will take the value 10 so if you want, you can assign A to V. So and if you pass 100 here, 100 will be passed to A. These are called the argument or parameters. Argument and parameter both are same thing with little difference. If you search it on internet, you will find this that when you pass it at the time of function call, this is called argument. And when you receive it, this is called parameter. From now onwards, we will take these names interchangeably. That means argument and parameters both are same. Now let us discuss what is function prototype. How do you know how to call a function? In a previous case, I was calling the function with do something without parameter. But now I am calling the function do something with parameter as 100. So which is right and which you should call. How you know is by function prototype. At the time of function declaration, you can see I am taking one variable in the function declaration. That means at the time of function call also, you have to pass this variable. This is our function prototype. So in this case, our function prototype will be and for the previous function, this was our function prototype. Now let us begin with dif different types of argument or parameters. Since we are learning parameter passing, so before passing the parameters, let us discuss what different types of argument or parameters are there. There are two different types of parameters 
or arguments if i take a function and if i call this function with 100 that means i'm passing the original or actual value here and i am receiving that value in this variable so this is called our actual argument and this is called formal argument so these are two things that we are going to discuss in detail since you know this when we are declaring a function here it is telling us how our function will be called so we will discuss different type of formal arguments and according to that we have to call our function in the actual argument so now we will discuss these formal arguments in our next video if you have any doubt you can ask me in google classroom or whatsapp or you can comment in this video thank you